We've all heard about the crises at Credit Suisse and the wider banking sector at the moment. The latest mega bank to face intense scrutiny in the news is none other than another European giant, Deutsche Bank. It has recently shared about 25% of its stock value and now it begs the question, is it the time to invest? I'm going to form comparisons with Credit Suisse in order to either build an investment case or not to build an investment case here. Let's start with its latest numbers, revenue of $30 billion and profit of $5.5 billion. That's the best it's been in years. That's promising and in stark contrast to Credit Suisse's worst loss in many years. It comes with a healthy dividend yield of 5.5%, which is pretty solid actually for a banking stock. And if it falls further, the stock price, then of course this dividend yield would rise. Let's focus more on the book value. So it's got assets of 1.3 trillion, I repeat, 1.3 trillion dollars. That's insane. And that gives it a book value per share of almost $35 per share. This is dramatically greater than its current stock price of $9 a share. So there's no doubt in my mind that Deutsche Bank is a deep value play, but is it going to get you money quickly? And looking at its stock price over its lifetime, there's no doubt that this is one of the cheapest points it's been in history. But the caveat is that the price has remained intensely sluggish and it's not really realized its true value yet as it was pre-2008. So in my mind, I label this as a long-term play, a solid dividend producing stock which fits in a conservative portfolio and a much safer play than Credit Suisse ever was. Plus, I don't really see how Germany would cope if this bank fell under. It would be an absolute economic meltdown. It'd be crazy. So that's it, a summary case for Deutsche Bank. If you found this video useful, well, check these two out as well. Also, if you like my content, like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot.